Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing well and that you've had a lovely week so far. So today's topic is actually based on a question that I got from one of my followers last week and she wanted to know what to look for to make sure that your online purchases look high quality and expensive and she was specifically referring to the quality of the fabric but there are a few different categories that I look at um, that I consider before I do an online purchase when I can't feel the weight of the fabric in my hands I can't try it on so I'm going to share with you my tips and almost guidelines to hopefully make online shopping a bit easier for you I know it can be really challenging challenging uh, because as I said you don't have the product physically in front of you so it really does make it a bit more challenging to pick the right pieces but I'm going to share with you what I look for um, and I think it will be really helpful. The first thing that I look at before I make an online, online purchase is the composition of an item. So what fabric is it made of? And I do this for two reasons. Number one, because it will give you an idea of the fit, especially when it comes to trousers and pants and jeans. So I typically only prefer 100% cotton jeans. I just love the fit of them a lot more than stretch jeans. So I always look for 100% cotton, no elastain, and then I know that I'm one step closer to purchasing a product that I actually love. And the second reason why I look at fabric is because that is probably the number one thing that makes your garment look more expensive and higher quality. Um, especially fabrics like linens, silks, cashmere, merino wool, lamb's wool, those are all fabrics and yarns that will make your pieces look more expensive. They're also higher quality, which means that your garments will last a long time if you take proper care of them. So you'll be able to wear them for a lot of years before you have to replace them. And if you live in a place like Canada, where it gets really cold in winter, it's actually essential to go for those natural fibers like merino wool and cashmere because they actually keep you really, really nice and warm. So it's actually more of an essential than a luxury if you live in a really cold climate. And you don't have to necessarily spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yes, these fibers and fabrics are more expensive, but places like H&M, like Mango, like Uniqlo, they do more affordable versions of these luxury items. I absolutely love Uniqlo for their cashmere sweaters and H&M also have a premium selection. It is more expensive than their normal range, but you really do pay for the quality and the longevity of the piece. So if you can afford it, I would say go for those higher quality fabrics and yarns specifically in winter because it will keep you nice and warm the second thing that I look for when I buy pieces online is structure and that is specifically in outerwear like blazers and jackets and coats and even if you buy something from a retailer that is really affordable, say for instance H&M, and it has some structure, it will automatically look more expensive. So I've got my list here and I've got a few examples that I want to show you. So firstly, we have this tan colored blazer. Now, there are a few things that I want to point out in this blazer. Number one, is the fact that the fabric doesn't have any, stru any structure. The fabric itself is almost flowy and it almost looks like it's the wrong fabric for this style of garment. So you will be able to see where this model wears it. It kind of drapes um, in a weird way. The lapels are also kind of floppy and they don't have a lot of structure to them. Yes, there are shoulder pads which get, give structure, but I think overall this piece just looks cheaper because of the fabric that they used. And you'll also be able to see from the back the way that it's stitched and the way that the fabric drapes is just not um, not done in a way that makes it look high quality and more expensive. And the other blazer I wanted to show you is this mauve pink color. And the same thing here, the fabric they used to construct this blazer is really flowy um, and 
I do understand that there are styles for blazers where you want it to be slightly more flowy but I think going too far in the opposite direction it just makes the piece look really cheap so I would avoid going for blazers and jackets in a really flowy fabric unless it's summer and it's very lightweight say cropped flowy like silky jacket um, but generally speaking the more structure the blazer has, the more expensive it looks and the more high quality it looks. So, to show you pieces that I do recommend, firstly starting with this blazer. So, this pinstripe one from H&M looks really, really high quality. It looks really expensive and it is quite affordable. And the reason why it looks really expensive is the fact that they used a weighty fabric. So the fabric itself also has some structure. It has some great shoulder pads and the overall cut is just done really, really well. Similarly, this one from Mango, which is a beige, lighter colored blazer. You can also see that it has a lot of structure. The lapels on this one are done so much better than the tan blazer I showed you in the first clip. Um, just the overall just construction of the garment looks a lot better more high quality and expensive and if you zoom in it's also more of a woolly fabric so perfect for fall and winter and then the last two pieces that I wanted to show you um, this little cropped jacket so as I mentioned not only for blazers but look for structure in all types of jackets and coats so this one specifically it's cropped but it has the structured shoulder pads and I think it looks a lot more polished and expensive um, than if it weren't to have shoulder pads. The shoulder pads just add to that structure and overall look of the jacket. It just looks more expensive. And then the last piece I wanted to show you is actually this coat from H&M. Now, I was really surprised about the price because the price is absolutely amazing for what the coat looks like. So it has some beautiful structure. It is I want to say an unstructured structure coat just because it has a tie belt so it has to have a bit of give so it can cinch in at the waist but I think it's done really really well and I do think that H&M is a really good place to look for coats if you can't necessarily afford the wool or the cashmere coats but you still want something that looks really expensive and high quality. So in my first point, I mentioned fabric um, and going for higher quality fabrics. That's not always possible, as I said, because of budget. Um, those fabrics tend to be really expensive. So if you can't afford those higher quality, more expensive fabrics, then there are a few things that I would recommend avoiding. So number one might be an unpopular opinion, but that is color, especially if you go for synthetic fabrics. Now you'll definitely see what I mean by that in the cutaways. So the first two blouses that I want to show you are satin, so they are a synthetic fabric. The first one is in this lighter pink color, and there's just something about the color combined with this fabric that just makes it feel less expensive and not as good quality. And I don't even want to mention the feathers. I think if you want to do feathers, there are more tasteful ways to do that. Um, and then the second blouse is this very fluorescent pink. So again, we have that satiny synthetic fabric, but I just think the color is what makes this piece look um, less expensive and not as good quality. So I'm going to show you options exactly the same fabric as these two pink blouses but because of the color they just look a lot more expensive. So the first one is this blouse from H&M. Now it is also satin but it's black. Automatically it looks more expensive, it looks more high quality and I think sticking to neutral colors, creams, blacks, navies, browns, um, those colors tend to really translate into higher quality, more expensive um, looking pieces. So the black blouse is the first one I wanted to show you. And then the second one, this one is from Mango. 
and it's a creamy color also satin so not really expensive this was a really good price point if i can remember correctly um but just because it's a neutral color it looks way more expensive and higher quality than the pink blouses and i actually forgot to show you this one so the cream colored blouse from Manga that I just showed you also comes in this lime green and honestly to me there's just no comparison if you want something that looks high quality that looks expensive go for the neutral shades like the cream or the black. The next thing I would avoid if you want your pieces to look more expensive and higher quality is prints and the examples that I have to show you are all coats but this kind of applies to all different garment types. Um, so the first two coats that I want to show you um, are both plaid. So the first one is black and white but it's just a really really big um, pattern I want to say and I, I just I think it kind of detracts it almost looks comical because it's so big and I just think it doesn't really add to the piece in terms of it um, looking expensive or high quality and the second coat is um, also plaid we have different colors going on here but again it's quite a big print um, especially if you're petite it's not really a good idea to go for really big bold prints like this because it will just look like you're getting lost in it um, but I think generally speaking these bigger prints don't always look expensive or high quality if you want to go for a print I would go for a coat like this now this one is more expensive this one is from Reformation, um, but the print is done really tastefully. It's very small. There's not a big contrast between the colors, um, so it is really understated. And that combined with the cut and the structure of the coat just makes the entire piece look more high quality and expensive. And then I have a coat actually from h&m as well so it is this herringbone coat and it's a lot more affordable than the reformation one but the print or the pattern at least is really subtle it um definitely adds interest to the piece but it's done in a really tasteful way so it makes the piece look really expensive and higher quality and then of course if you don't want to go for pattern or print go for a solid color i always find specifically when going for outerwear pieces like blazers and coats if you go for a solid color then it's just a lot more versatile and a lot more wearable i remember a couple of years ago i bought a houndstooth coat because i it's just such a classic print or pattern at least and i really wanted a houndstooth coat and i haven't worn it that much because i just don't find it that versatile in my wardrobe so um that was a hard lesson to learn um for me it's really just better to stick to those solid colors and i also find that i actually don't even buy prints anymore because it's just not really versatile in a capsule wardrobe it's not that easy to mix and match with all of your pieces um so that is another tip if you want your pieces to look really high quality and expensive and you want them to be really versatile then stick to those solid colors the last thing that I look at when I purchase pieces online is detail. Now, I always say go for unique design details, um, details that really elevate a piece, but it is really an art to pick out pieces with detail that look really expensive and high quality that are done really well. Um, so I wanted to show you some examples of detail that i would not recommend and if you really if you're unsure about if a specific detail makes a piece look more expensive or less expensive the best thing to do is actually just go for something that is really simple stick to the basics and rather use your accessories to elevate your outfits um, i rave about accessories all the time but really is um so so useful to elevate your outfits if you tend to wear a lot of basic pieces so the first piece that i want to show you is this coat now i didn't specifically go for yellow it was just the 
coat that I found with the detail that I wanted to show. But you can definitely see that the yellow combined with the detail just does not make this coat look expensive or high quality. But the scallop detail, I think, makes this piece look really dated. And I think it just makes it feel very busy as well. I think this is also a detail that will make it less wearable and almost gives it a more feminine style. Um, so I would recommend instead of this coat, I would go for a gray coat like this one from Mango. Really simple, really clean lines. And I think it just looks really chic, number one, but also higher quality and more expensive so stick to more simple clean cuts if you are unsure then the next pieces that i want you to share with you knitwear now i probably went for the extremes here but i just wanted to illustrate what i mean by fussy detail on sweaters i think when you look for nice and unique design detail in sweaters go for something that is structurally unique for instance shoulder pads or an uneven or asymmetric hemline at the bottom or maybe puffy sleeves i think those details um, or those design elements don't easily look cheap or um poor quality but if you go for something like this pink sweater which is it has the bubbles then it has the collar and it has the rhinestones on the collar. I think it's just a lot of detail all at once. And I definitely think everything combined just doesn't give a piece that looks high quality and expensive. The same goes for this sweater. I, the body of the sweater is quite simple, but then you have these almost crochet sleeves and then the ruffles and I don't think there's anything wrong with that but if you're looking for something that will be really versatile that you'll be able to wear for a lot of years that you won't feel next year oh it's out of style I won't wear it again go for those simple styles and I actually came across two amazing sweaters that I wanted to show you so the first one is this fine knit grey one from H&M. Really get great price. I actually own this one in um, a camel color. Really soft, and I think it's only I think it's under thirty US dollars. So really good price. And if you take proper care of it, it will look good for a really long time. It is synthetic, but it's just done really well. It's simple, it's classic, and you'll be able to style it in a lot of different ways. And then this um, beigey camel one, also from H&M, this is one of those oversized knits. It's got the slits on the sides, it comes up quite high, but I think the color, the simple design, and the fit of it makes it just look really high quality and really expensive. It almost reminds me of those striped totem sweaters that we saw all over the place last year. This one obviously doesn't have stripes, but I do think um, just the overall design and the color makes it look really, really expensive. And then the last piece that I want to talk about when we are talking about detail is blazers and their buttons. So I do think there is a place for gold buttons. We saw them on a lot of these lady cardigans, these lady jackets, and I think those definitely suit the style but if you are looking at a blazer then i would avoid going for gold buttons because i think it just makes them less versatile and they can feel dated really quickly so blazer to me is a really classic piece it's something that i am able to wear with basically anything so that is why i think gold buttons aren't a good option i think if done in the incorrect way then it makes a piece look less expensive um, and less high quality than it is so instead of going for a black blazer with gold buttons like here I would go for a classic black blazer with black buttons automatically without the gold buttons it just reads a lot more expensive and high quality and also it's a lot more versatile or you could go for, in this case, the tan blazer, which has neutral colored buttons, which they add a bit of contrast to the blazer, but it's not as severe as with the gold buttons. So something like this 
also reads more expensive and higher quality and a lot more versatile and that is it for today's video i really hope you found this helpful i will link everything that i mentioned in the description box down below the pieces that i do recommend um and actually most of them are from h&m and mango so those two are really great places to have a look if you're looking for pieces that are more budget friendly but that look um more high quality if you go for the right fabric then they definitely are more higher quality um but that look more expensive as well and let me know in the comments down below if you found this helpful also remember to leave me a question if there's anything you want to see from me if there's anything that you struggle with you see that i address them i love to take your questions um and build an entire video or an instagram reel around them um because chances are it's not only one of you that has these questions or um, that struggle with anything specific so um, if there's anything you want me to cover next leave those suggestions in the comments down below and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and definitely go and give me a follow over on instagram as well i do um, even more style content style tips outfit inspiration over there which i think you will love and that is it for today i will see you again in the next video bye